Earthquakes could cause fires, can cut off water, could cut off gas lines. So any number of those secondary effects that could happen from an earthquake is something that could cause a lot of problems here. People don't realize that fault lines run through Las Vegas and we actually can get earthquakes here, but what is the likelihood of a big one hitting? We met up with our emergency management team to find out. Disaster can strike at any moment and our emergency management team at the city of Las Vegas is ready. Guy DeMarco, an emergency management specialist with the city showed us his team's headquarters. This is where we would be working in the event of an emergency or a disaster. One of those potential disasters very well could be an earthquake. Yes, Las Vegas can get earthquakes. Las Vegas has many fault lines that a lot of people aren't aware of that any one of them could trigger earthquakes. And these fault lines do trigger earthquakes, but most of the time they're too small to feel. That doesn't mean that one of these fault lines can't trigger a big one down the road though. A big one could happen tomorrow, or a big one may not happen for 50 to 100 years. We really don't know because fault lines operate on their own time and they could go at any point. A lot of people just assume that they don't happen here. The reality is that Nevada is the third most seismically active state in the continental United States behind only California and Alaska. Just because they haven't yet doesn't mean they never will. And I think that's one of the reasons why people don't take it seriously is because they haven't yet experienced it here. But we have experienced tremors from nearby earthquakes. One of those recent tremors includes the 6.5 magnitude earthquake that hit just outside of Tonopah in 2020. This was Nevada's largest earthquake in 65 years. The location of those earthquakes in the Nye County area. While about 200 miles away from Las Vegas, some people in Southern Nevada reported feeling it. Travelers especially felt it as the highway connecting Las Vegas to Reno was damaged and shut down for about 10 hours. Magnitude hit just before noon outside Caliente, which is- Going back to 2015, we also felt a 5.3 magnitude earthquake that hit about 125 miles north of Las Vegas near Caliente. There was suspected damage downtown on the ramp connecting the US 95 South to the I-15 South. The ramp was closed for several hours while crews determined that it was structurally sound and safe for travel. All right, so here's a look at some of the earthquakes that have happened just in the last uh, 14 days. This includes the 4.4 magnitude earthquake in Indian Springs that some people in Las Vegas felt the night before we shot this video. Just in the last 12 hours, there have been about a dozen earthquakes just northwest of Las Vegas. So we are seismically active. Most of them are just too small for most people to realize. So we're out here at Cashman Center. You can't see the fault lines necessarily, but they're here. Absolutely, there is actually a fault line that runs right underneath the baseball field where the uh, 51s used to play. Our Frenchman Mountain Fault, which is one of the ones that we've always been concerned about. Any one of those fault lines could trigger an earthquake. These are just the fault lines we know about. Yes, this is true. These are just the ones that we know about. There may be others that, that have not been mapped yet or have not been discovered yet. So what can we expect if a big one were to hit Las Vegas? There's good news and bad news. The good news is a lot of buildings within Las Vegas are built to be earthquake proof. The bad news is we are pretty isolated as a community. So we only have a few outlets in and out of Vegas that if those get compromised, then we really are an island out in the desert on our own. If those routes were to be inaccessible, Las Vegas would be left with only the food, fuel, and resources we already have. The advice from the Office of Emergency Management is to prepare for all hazards. They recommend making an emergency supply kit and having 10 days worth of food and water on hand. Another very simple step to be prepared is to subscribe to the City of Las Vegas' emergency alerts. You can also take the free community emergency response training that the city offers, which will help you overall respond to any emergency you may experience. The class teaches things like basic first aid, basic search and rescue, how to put out small fires, and more. We can be prepared as we want, but when that earthquake hits, it's important to know what to do and what not to do. First and foremost, don't go running under a uh, door frame. This is an old wives tale that even I thought held some truth until this interview. I think people just kind of assume that because it's a door frame that it's under a sturdy part of the home, which is not necessarily the case. Everything starts shaking. First thing you want to do is, is drop, cover up your head, preferably get under something sturdy like a table here and hold on, because if anything is falling, it's gonna hit that. If you're already inside, don't go running outside as there could be falling glass or power lines. If you're driving, pull over and cover until it's over. Guy also says to have a plan for your entire family after any disaster happens. If a disaster happens, 
this is where we're all gonna meet. Uh, if a disaster happens, this is how we're gonna get in, in touch with each other. Have your kit, know your plan, and practice that plan with your family. If you like this video, don't forget to drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our content. And for more like this, check out these.